Hey guys, it's Dr. Oob here. I want to talk to you a little bit about how to save money at the pharmacy using some of the, the tricks doctors use. So I had a patient recently that got denied for her Nature Throid, which is a thyroid replacement. It's a natural thyroid replacement. And many insurance companies don't cover it because it's not the brand name Synthroid and all that. Um, and so she got denied for Nature Throid and the pharmacy was faxing us saying that the insurance company won't cover it. We need to find an alternative. Well, I pulled out my handy GoodRx app, which if you don't have it, you definitely need to look it up. GoodRx is an app where you can look up coupons and cash prices of any drug anywhere and it compares the different pharmacies right in front of you and not only that it gives you coupons for each drug um, to tell you which which pharmacy to go to using which coupon. So this person was gonna look for an alternative to Nature Throid which she's been doing really well on because her insurance didn't cover it. So I kindly told her to go back to the pharmacy, uh, use the coupon and tell them that she'll pay cash for it without insurance and she might end up paying eight bucks, 10 bucks, maybe $15. Um, so that's my first tip on how to save money at the pharmacy. Look up on, your, on the GoodRx app or ask the pharmacist what the cash price is. So many times you may be surprised to find this out that your copay is actually more than you would pay cash for a prescription. So drugs like metformin, lisinopril, um, the statins, Lipitor, and all those, most of those are on the $4 list at Walmart. So if you're paying more than $4 for your, for your prescription, especially if it's an old generic like that, then you're either getting it because it's convenient to you at that pharmacy, or you need to be switching and going to a different pharmacy uh, like Walmart or someone that offers the $4 um, drugs. Now, if your insurance is covering it and it's it's cheaper, then by all means get it, but know your cash price. And so when you go to the pharmacy and they're running your insurance and they're telling you the copay is 20 bucks, don't hesitate to ask them, say, well, what is it without insurance? Run it without my insurance and I'll just pay that price. So I've heard some people, instead of making that confusing for the pharmacy, what they'll have is they'll have one pharmacy where they don't give them their insurance information and then they'll have another pharmacy that they use with their insurance information. That way they don't have to say, well, run uh, Levo that rocks without insurance and run the Crest or with insurance or whatever and that just keeps it a little simpler but in this day and age drug prices can ruin you and can wreck you financially so be smart look at your your cash prices um, use good rx it's literally just that you type in the app store good rx and you'll download it and it's free and you just get the coupon I really don't know how they stay in business but um, they're somehow making money so that's my first tip uh, my second tip is um, always try to switch to generic drugs I kind of mentioned that a second ago so you might be on brand name drugs your doctor might have told you that you need to be on this drug and they didn't know that it was gonna cost you 80 or 100 bucks at the pharmacy copay um, and and you're, you're shelling this out every month because you think that's the only way to do it you need to go back to your doctor and say, look, this drug has cost me 80 bucks a month. What are my other alternatives? Or another thing you can do is you can actually go online and say, um, my drug is Ramipril and I want to know what the generic equivalent of that is that, that is cheaper. Um, you can compare the $4 list at Walmart to find out what the cheapest drugs are. And so that's another alternative. If your doctor's not willing to switch you to a generic medicine, then you need to ask them why specifically you need to be on that medication that's brand name, especially blood pressure medicines, uh, diabetes medicines, uh, although some of the newer ones are of course really expensive. Um, the, the, the blood pressure medicines, there's tons of generics out there that are dirt cheap. There's no reason to be on these expensive uh, drugs. I won't say any names, but there's no reason to be on expensive blood pressure medicine unless you're truly having a difficult time controlling your blood pressure and you're on five or six medicines. But there's no reason you can't be on four blood pressure medicines that are each $4 each. <clears throat> That's one of my pet peeves. Now, if, if for some reason the doctor can say that you need to be on this medication for this reason, then uh, that's up to you to do that. But as far as I've seen lately, there's no blood pressure medicine that has stolen the show that's showing drastic reductions in blood pressure <clears throat> and heart attacks and strokes if you take this one drug, <clears throat> excuse me, compared to the old generics that we've been using for years now. So always ask your doctor if there's a generic alternative. Now there are some drugs that you just can't get around. Like I've got a patient right now that had a heart attack. She's got a stent and she, her cardiologist is telling her that she can only take this one um, blood thinning drug. And I don't know the data well enough to say, well, you can switch to generic Plavix. I, I just don't know. And we don't mess around with heart attacks. <clears throat> so that's, some, that's a discussion that she has to have with her cardiologist. 
to decide what's reasonable. That being said, we want her to take a drug, so if she can't afford the expensive drug, then I, I told her that I'd be happy to prescribe the generic Plavix or Clopidogrel um, so that she at least has something, because something's better than, than nothing. Um, and so if your doctor is completely unwilling to switch you to a generic drug, then you really need to ask yourself if this is the right doctor for you, because we want you to live well and we want you to have decreased stress, but if pharmaceuticals are putting an advanced stress in your life because you can't afford your drugs and your doctor just wants brand name drugs, maybe because that rep brings them good lunches or, or something, I don't know. Um, I, I hate to say that about my profession, but let's face it, the drug companies are bringing your doctor's lunch and dinner and all that for a reason because they want to infiltrate their mind and keep using their drug name over and over again so that when it comes time to prescribe a medicine, that name is at the top of their list. It works. That's why the pharmaceutical industry has done it. Luckily, where I practice now with functional medicine, they've kind of stopped coming to visit me because we don't prescribe enough drugs for them. Okay, so my final tip for saving uh, money at the pharmacy is actually go to your compounding pharmacies. Sometimes compounding pharmacies can actually get your drugs cheaper than your regular pharmacy can. So if you don't know what a compounding pharmacy is, uh, look one up, see if there's one in your area. A compounding pharmacist can basically take raw materials and turn it into a prescription for you. And that prescription is designed only for you and no one else and it's made at a certain level. Um, and so many times we can actually combine some um, drugs into um, cheaper generic compounded drugs. So for example, the newer weight loss drugs like Contrave uh, and Qsimia are they're combinations of two older drugs that have been used for ages. We just haven't combined those two into a new drug and call them a name. And so many people can't afford Contrave and, and Qsimia because they're just too expensive and their, their, their insurance plan doesn't cover it. But we can get those drugs compounded for a much cheaper rate and um, you don't have to worry about taking two separate prescriptions and it's one, one pill. Um, and so we've had some good success with that. You can't do the exact dosage as the patented brand name drug, but you can do something similar. So those are my tips for saving money at the pharmacy. Um, always look it up because um, there's so much smoke and mirrors around pharmaceuticals and, and drug prices and all that, that um, you really got to look for the best deal for you, especially if you're on multiple medications. So I hope this helps. I hope this saves you a lot of money in the long run. Um, if you have any other tips that you would like to share with others, like getting prescriptions from Canada or whatever you can do to save money at the pharmacy, please leave a comment, drop it, and um, see if we can help others save money at the pharmacy. I hope you guys have a great day.